Latitude 64 Recycled Explorer. And stay tuned to the end of the video and find out how to enter to win this after it has been dyed. Check that out. What's up everybody and welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. So Josh here and I'm doing uh, once again a completely different kind of video. We've not been able to get the crew together at all this year uh, with COVID-19 pandemic, uh, different schedules and just life in general. We have not been able to get the crew together hardly at all, all five of us this year. So trying to explore some new content and I had an idea. Uh, actually, a buddy of mine on Team BDGC, Josh Delp, who runs his YouTube page called, uh, or YouTube channel, rather, called Daddy Delp Disc Golf. Make sure you check him out. He does a lot of disc golf dies, and he did a disc golf die for me on a disc. Uh, I'll post a picture of it right here. He's been doing it quite a while, so he knows what he's doing. Well, this will be my first actual attempt at a die. Now, I've tried it one time a long time ago, but... I obviously wasn't using the right kind of dye because it did not work at all. So now I've got some eye dye poly, which is, I know that's what you're supposed to do. And I'm going to be do, dyeing this Latitude 64 Recycled Explorer, as you can see. And I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway on it as well. So if you want to enter to win this disc, all you got to do is stay tuned to the end of the video and find out how to enter to win this after it has been dyed. So first step of this is I'm going to wipe this stamp off and I'm going to take a BDGC logo here and put it right there in the middle, uh, a decal. Uh, it's going to kind of waste a decal, but it's okay. It should be good. So it's going to be a the first ever Basinger's Disc Off Channel dyed disc by myself. So, uh, and I am going to do a giveaway on it as well. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to enter to win this after it's been died. Um, now, I'm going to throw some clips in here, uh, possibly throw some clips in here of Josh Delp giving me some tips, maybe even some clips from his video showing me how to do the shaving cream dye method, which is what I'm going to try first. It seems fairly easy and he seems pretty confident that I can get it right at the first try. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing on this one right here. And I actually bought two of these. So there's going to be uh, two giveaways coming up soon. If this goes well and people like this, then I will try and do more dyes on different brands and stuff like that. So, uh, first stamp is, or first step rather is I'm going to wipe the stamp. Okay, so the stamp is wiped. As you can see, I actually uh, while I was wiping the stamp, uh, it started leaving like a little bit of the red on the outside there. And I actually kind of dug that. It, give, it gives it some character, so I chose not to wipe it 100% off. You can see there, it's got some really cool, I'm going to call it character. So instead of wiping it completely off, I'm going to leave that on there. I don't know if it will stay in the long run, but I think that looks really cool. So next step is I'm going to put the BDGC logo right there in the middle, put this decal. Uh, my thoughts are that once I wipe this after, after I do the dye and... Uh, wipe or peel the sticker off after then it should set, have the BDGC logo in white. Don't know how well it's going to work but we're going to try it. So uh, as I said with those colors I'm going to keep I'm going to try and run with that color scheme. That's got that red from the stamp. So I'm going to do like red and orange and yellow maybe colors. Uh, give it that kind of fiery look to it. So uh, I'm going to apply the decal now and I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay I have the decal on there. I don't know if you can see it too good. A little bit of uh, the sun coming through the window there as you can see. Uh, I think I centered it up pretty well. Uh, I'm hoping it's gonna turn out to look okay once I uh, get it on there. Might be kind of hard to see but I honestly think it already looks pretty sick. So uh, the next step is building the mound of uh, shaving cream. I'm gonna try that. I've got a couple uh, frisbees here. So this is just like a little cheap uh, frisbee that uh, my girlfriend Amanda picked up for me at the Walmart, uh, dollar frisbee. Uh, and I'll set that down. I'll put the shaving cream in this and then set it down in there. 
face down, obviously. And then I've got my own uh, Dynamic Discs Aviator, which we used during the challenge video. We did the Aviator challenge. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. I will put a card up here. Wait, up here. I don't know. It'll be somewhere. This way. So, um, so then I'm just going to set that in that just to make sure we don't get any mess. Might dye my Aviator a little bit on the bottom, but that's okay. It'll be all right. All right, so I'm gonna set the camera up or at least hold it in front of me and show you the mound that I've created and then the die that I put on. Uh, just to kind of show you, this is in no way a tutorial because like I said, this is my first time actually trying this shaving cream die or pretty much any die for that matter. So um, in what, no way is this a tutorial. Don't go by me. If you want to go buy somebody's video uh, or follow somebody's video, that sounded funny, like purchasing the video. But if you want to uh, follow someone else's techniques, make sure you check out uh, Daddy Disc Golf. I'm, I'm sorry, Daddy Delt Disc Golf. Daddy Disc Golf is another good channel or from uh, Josh Scarf. Oh, that's weird. Josh Scarf, Josh Delt. Daddy Disc Golf and Daddy Delt Disc Golf. Okay, just now realizing that. But anyway, back to the task at hand. I'm going to put some shaving cream in this little dude and uh, round it off in a ball. Uh, how I've seen Josh do it before and uh, I'll show you a video clip of that in just a second. Okay so as you can see here I kind of have a little ball and at this point I'm going to say that I am thoroughly impressed with how Josh seemingly made a absolutely perfect ball of shaving cream and uh, I don't quite understand it. I did use a card like he said to try and Form it into a little ball, but uh, it's not as easy as he makes it look in his video. Um, and also, don't know how you didn't take a bite of it thinking it was whipped cream because it looks like whipped cream and it makes me want dessert. So now I'm going to take some of these colors and I'm going to take his tip on using like a Q-tip and tap it in there. He said he said a lot of people do that. He's got it down to where he can just kind of tap the package and do it and get it just a little bit in there because apparently you only want a little bit obviously not that confident yet because this is the first time I've tried it so uh, I'm going to do my best to try and uh, just use a q-tip and kind of sprinkle a little bit in and around okay just a little update these are the colors I've chosen to go with so as you can see like I said try and keep that reddish theme uh, that came off with this stamp and do red orange and yellow and I actually decided to grab some black as well those of you that know me uh, know that I'm a big fan of MVP and Axiom discs so I'm gonna try I know I'm not gonna be able to do it this first time but I'm gonna try and do a little bit of black around the outside uh, of the uh, the little ball of shaving cream to see if I can get sort of like a uh, like a uh, halo effect around the outside so uh, we're going to try that out and see how it works. As you can see, I uh, finished up with the sprinkling. And I can already tell from what I saw on Josh's video that I have put way too much dye on here. Uh, after looking back at that, especially this little spot right there. So, um, it's probably not going to turn out too good. But like I said, this is my first dye. Um... It's hard to do that ball like he did a perfect ball but the next step is uh, well actually let me explain it right quick so I did like black around the outside as you can see I'm trying not to stick my finger in it. black around in here and then I try to do red then orange then yellow in the middle so uh, maybe give it like a little burst look of colors I don't know how it's going to work with these sides right here with nothing on it so I feel like that's not going to turn out too good but you know this is the first time uh, I'm sure I'll be happy with it, however uh, it comes out. Okay, so the next step of this process, besides just dropping my camera on the ground and doing a little, uh, getting scared there for a second because I thought it had broken. Uh, looks like we're good now. But uh, the next step is actually putting the disc onto the shaving cream and letting it set. So I'm not going to film myself putting it on there. Uh, I don't actually have the little clip to where I can adjust my tripod right now. I've misplaced it, so I can't really set up an angle pointing down at it without recording. I'm definitely not going to try it with one hand and that. So uh, I'm going to put this disc on here. I'll try and get a clip of it after 
uh, and show you a little something on the front of that disc. Hope it's not die. No, it's not. Um, so I'm going to try and put it down in there. As I said, here it is. I washed it with uh, like a degreaser, some uh, just dishwashing detergent, like Josh said before, because I'm trying not to touch the front. He said if you touch the front after, it'll kind of get to where the dye won't stick in that spot. So I'm going to apply this to the shaving cream and push it down just a little bit, like Josh said, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to let it set for at least probably 10 hours. Uh, it's like 11.50 uh, right now, so uh, we'll see. Uh, almost noon right now, and we'll see what it looks like after it sets. So here we go. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and record a clip here of so you can see the disc sitting in. You can see a lot of that's not showing. I feel like over on the sides it's not going to look that good. But uh, it is now sitting in the shaving cream and with the dye on it. And uh, let's just hope it turns out good. Next clip will be after I wash it off and uh, reveal it. Alright, so as you can see, it's like, what time is it? It is 9.59, no, 10 o'clock at night now. So this has been in the dye for right at 10 hours so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and uh, see what it looks like so uh, wish me luck uh, it kind of looks like uh, around in here some of the black looks like it kind of turned blue so I'm kind of wondering what that's gonna look like so Ooh, I don't know I'm not gonna lie, that actually looks pretty sick for my first ever dye attempt. It looks like the dye went through the BDGC decal there, so it doesn't really look that great right there, but that looks pretty sick, I think. So I'm going to Peel the BDGC decal off and we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to dry it off first and then peel it off and see, but it looks like it kind of went, the dye went through, but it looks pretty good. What do you think about it? I like it. So, I'm pretty happy. Okay, so it turned out pretty good. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, that's the back. So, um, I'll show you what it looks like now, but I'm actually going to do some better shots of it and put it in the video as well. A little bit of residue on here. I'm gonna contact for from from that uh, decal. So I'm gonna contact Josh and see if uh, Josh Dale and see if he knows what to do to get that residue off on there. I tried cleaning it off there, but as you can see, it turned out pretty good. As I said, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on this, so let's uh, get stay tuned to the end. Almost the end of the video, but I'm gonna get some shots in and show you uh, some up close shots of this. So. With a, hopefully I can get some of that residue off on there, but I think it turned out pretty good myself. I'm tired, uh, sleepy, it's been a long day, walking quite a bit today, so uh, I'm going to rest over the night tomorrow in the sunshine, get some good video clips of this so you can see it a little bit better. Alright everybody, so it's the next day, I don't want to bring this disc outside so you could get a very good visual representation of what it looks like check that out so looks pretty sick if you ask me uh, for my first dye job you can see a little bit of blue and red orange yellow all the colors that I put in there actually showed so uh, we will be giving this disc away um, it's a latitude 64 Explorer recycle Explorer as you saw in the beginning if you want to enter to win this disc 
all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to us right here on YouTube. Uh, get your notification bell on so you see when we do other giveaways. Uh, but uh, comment down below, leave a number 1 through 100. And about a week after we put this video up, I'll pick a number on random.org. And the winner will be uh, whatever number I get on random.org. So uh, if you don't have a YouTube channel or you know membership, then you can do the same thing on Facebook. There's going to be a post where I share this actual video. No other post, not where I put a picture of it, but where I share this video. Uh, comment on that post and make sure you like our Facebook page and follow us or you're not eligible to win this disc. So um, like it and leave a comment, 1 through 100 once again. And as I said, the number that I pick through random.org will be who wins. Now the first time, this is the first time we're ever going to have done this on a giveaway. As a thank you to our Patreon supporters, all the people listed at the first of this video, you can actually pick two numbers. So that doubles your chances of uh, winning this disc as a thank you uh, for being a Patreon supporter. If you want uh, to have that to happen to you as well, double your chances on our giveaways, please consider joining us on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash BDGC. You get early access to every video, as you can see, uh, double your chances on every giveaway, discounts on merchandise, and lots of other good stuff. Uh, Patreon exclusive videos, and we're gonna do some Patreon exclusive giveaways as well. So, um, please consider that, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic, on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy, yeah, since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me, I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies, I'm so astonishing, I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma